Oh YouTube, this is Fairy Tale Chapter 469 review, and this chapter was good. Um, uh, this chapter, like, basically, I like what they kind of did with Burnish's powers and Natsu because we know from this chapter that Natsu could not, uh, basically live w without good treatment. There was no doctors in the area of Ishgar or th their area to um, help Natsu, but Burnish uh, said, Un "Undo my chains, and I can shrink." Um what was inside him, I think that's it, it was a tumor, so they or shrank something inside of him, and then, and then, like, he's gonna be better at heal stuff, but I, apparently Brandish is still not on her side, and stuff like that, because, uh, she told Lucy that she uh, still did not want to be friends and stuff, that she was a prisoner of war, and that she better watch out, and stuff like that, and then, like, we find out about, you know, Aquarius, um, apparently, She's not going to be probably in this arc because Lucy's going to have to find her. So I'm guessing at the end of the series that Lucy will find the Aquarius key or or something like that. that that'll be fine. I don't care um, if that happens. It's not, it's not really that crazy because the chances of her finding the key are crazy. But she'll probably find the key because, you know, just because it's the, probably going to be a part of the plot. But, and she, and something... Lucy mumbled something about, or not mumbled, but said something about she finally found her goal and then switched off to another panel. And then, so basically, the two, um, two forces, allied forces have been defeated. Um, Mermaid Heel and, um, Lamia Scale and then Sabretooth and Blue Pegasus. They've, they've just been retreated. That I said they've been defeated. I take that back. They've retreated for now. Which kind of goes into a theory video I should be coming out with the day, Monday, the day this video should be coming out. It should come out after this video or before this video. I meant to upload it a while ago, but I, I didn't. But anyways, uh, so, that, after that happens, um, we're just, we're shown to the four kings of Ishgar. They're defeated. They've been, they've been took out just by God Serena alone. And they're all on the ground, and so, yeah, he said, they're like calling him scum and crap because he left, but they're all on the ground, they're beaten, and from what we've seen, Warod, the fourth, no, the third King of Ishgar, the one who was in fairy tale, the really old tree guy, he's about to die by God Serena because he's like, I wanted to see, he said he wanted to see maybe his face again, but, you know, God Serena's like, no, just Close your eyes and die, basically is what he says. And then he goes, Yuri, I'll finally, or uh, Yuri Pretch, I'll finally join you like a Makaros father. Oh, crap. I kind of spooled, well, I kind of spooled that. If you haven't read Fairytale Zero, crap, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spool that. Well, oh well. Anyways, that, basically that's what happens, and it shows maybe it's like shocked. And then next week's chapter is like hybrid theory. I mean, I'm hoping Gildarch will show up, but Gildarch, I mean, it's kind of bullcrap with Gildarch just showed up in the middle of that and is like, I'm taking you down, and he's like, and destroys God's ring and then like, just kills the whole freaking army, I don't know, that wouldn't happen, don't, don't take me wrong, that won't happen, that won't happen, but that'd be cool, um, I'm expecting Gildarch to show up at some time, I'm expecting him to go against someone big, maybe against, um, I, the King of Magic, I think that's his name, He's on the Alvarez Kingdom side. Um, I think, yeah, I think Gildarts or Makarov will go against him. Anyways, that's the review for today, guys. Tell me what you think of my review. Tell me what you think of this chapter. This chapter is an 8 out of 10. And that's it, guys. Follow me on social media and Twitch in the link in the description below. And subscribe. I'm out.